Hope everyone's having a blessed Sunday. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a plant update. Um, even though it's not an update, just basically pot update with plants I had that needed to be put in terracotta pots. Um, and if you've seen my last video, I did a little DIY and I had pretty much started the pots off, um, showing a little bit on how I was going to start it off. And this is the end result. So, it, you know, it kind of looks that rustic, older, vintage look. Um, and so, yeah, if you watch my other video, I did a DIY on this pot. Um, and I had several of them. So it's going to be a new thing for me. I can't wait because there's so many colors you can mix in with it. But anyhow, I had repotted this snake plant. Um, it was in a glazed pot um, and I didn't, at the time, I didn't have any terracotta pots. It's been sitting in a glazed pot. I have repotted it a couple months ago. So I just put went ahead and put it inside of this terracotta and it has a big hole. The glazed had a hole, but it was like a little tiny hole and the pot was just uh, really not good for the snake plant so um i was pretty happy um with my pots i was trying to figure out who's gonna go where so this plant um has been sitting in a glazed pot so it got this was one of the first ones that got um i had repotted pretty much all my snake plants in terracotta pots because they need that so yeah so this is how it came out i'm really happy with it. I played around with it and it came out pretty much how I wanted it to look. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. So yeah, so this plant, just a plant, a cylindrica <clears throat> plant. Uh, <clears throat> I will give a whole, I'm going to, I've been, I have started my Tuesday series and it's um, plant feature Tuesdays and basically I'm featuring each one of my plants and I'm going to tell the background that I know of, that I've learned and my care that I, how I take care of them and identification, which is hard for a lot of Sans Varia especially. So yeah, so there's one. So yeah, so that's that. And she looks adorable. Next plant was a pink aloe that I had that was in a um, um, nursery pot. And so this is a four inch terracotta. So she got to get in one of the new pots also. Yeah, she was overwatered and I've had her for a while, but um, she was overwatered. Uh, a lot had happened with her from getting her from Ikea. They're succulents really almost all their plants just are not cool but uh, especially succulents and whatnot but yeah so she was overwatered and so she was in her nursery pot i let her dry completely out and then i went ahead and put her in one of my terracotta pots that i made so that's that a pretty little pink aloe she had a baby that had rotted off um but yeah she's adorable so this sits in my west kitchen window, which has really, really strong sun um, for some reason. So the west window has low light succulents in the window still. And then that's her in that four inch pot that I made. Next is this big old, well, it's two girls. Um, it's a pink, well, really not pink. It's, it's the red uh thanksgiving christmas cactus a uh, holiday cactus whatever you want to call it um it has like this reddish pinkish color flowers are real real pretty and i mixed it with these uh so i had two cactuses uh whatever christmas not christmas cactus thanksgiving cactus whatever the case holiday cactus and um they were both you know in their nursery pots they were pot bound um so even though they like that but they were a nursery pot and they had overwatered them of course so um i t 
took them out and I went ahead and they definitely needed to be in a terracotta pot because they are um, a uh, epiphyte or whatever and they grow, um, you know, they don't really need to be a lot of soil. So there's like a mixture of rocks and gravel and cactus mix with uh, orchid bark. I mixed all that stuff up because they're very, they need very dra uh, draining, fast draining soil and really muddy, not muddy, you know, but more loose gravel type. And then I made this pot as well. So this is one of the pots, the pot my mom had gave me. So they really came out. I just love it. They came out really, really how I wanted. I had to do a lot with it um, to get it to really how I wanted it. But it finally turned out pretty just how I wanted it, you know, with that old looking. And I can't wait to do some more pots like this. Um, but yeah, so this is, so it's a mixture of two. And what I did was I put one, two, you know, one of one, one of one. I just kept doing it like in a pattern. So when they do flower, it's going to be so pretty because the, the flowers, so there's like a red, they're, it's called a red one or something like that. Red cactus, Christmas cactus, a Schoenberger. I can't even pronounce their scientific name, but holiday cactus. And then the other one is like a real, real, like a almost white pinkish color, real baby pink, like cotton candy pink. So it's going to be a pretty mixture when it does grow, um, when it blooms, which I'm hoping I'm able to do because it wasn't bloom when I got it, but they had overwatered it and it was in bloom for a while though. So I did get to see how they look. So now they're in a good soil. They're in a good pot. Um, and I have them with humidity and um, bright sun. So, yeah, I can't wait till it's time for to go ahead and get them to ready to bloom like in September or whatever. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll really appreciate being in a terracotta pot. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into my uh, my plant haul, which I actually went to a plant swap today, my first plant swap. So really, really was nice. I didn't bring too many plants because I didn't even know what, you know, this was like my first time. I brought a few plants um, and I got to meet a few nice, really cool people. Um, so I'm so, I was so like, today is just the day for me. I'm so happy I was able to find, was able to go and I got so many goodies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them ready. So just one moment. So the first cutting um, was from me. Actually, I got quite of my cuttings from her. Um, her name was Hannah, and she was the one really hosting it. But um, this is a um, neon pothos, and I love how it has little green uh, in it. I went ahead and stuck it in some water. Um, there are some good aerial roots in there, so... And I threw some cinnamon in it. What I do when I do the first cutting, and it actually worked because I did it with a peperomia. And um, it was one of those ripple ones. And I just potted that up. In fact, I need to do a plant update on all my repotted plants. But it was in water forever. And then I got roots. But the cinnamon really helped it. Like I noticed once I put the cinnamon on it. Um, I do it the first couple of waters. And then after that, they're good. So yeah, this is a neon um, pothos and it's really healthy, um, good cutting. So I'm really happy. There is a few leaves that are, you know, but I'm not worried about it. Um, because I do have another neon pothos, but I like to have a couple of, I'm a neon person. I love that color. So if I get one, I like to have a couple anyway. So yeah, so this was, um, the neon pothos cutting. So this was the first one. Um, it was actually two of them. Um, and I'm going to actually combine them together in one pot once they do have roots, which now it's spring. So I'm pretty sure all these cuttings will be ready, which was, this was perfect timing. Um, they'll be ready. And I have some other cuttings actually that I did myself. So in a few, about a month, I say I should be good to go and be potting them all up. So yeah, so this is the neon pothos. This is the first cutting I got. 
here's the second one. I believe this is an emerald, green emerald philodendron. I have the red emerald, and I'm pretty sure, I believe, I don't know, I didn't really catch the name from her, but pretty sure this is a baby uh, green emerald um, plant. So I do have the red emerald, so... I'm pretty sure looking at the leaf, knowing um, it's a baby green emerald, and she's got an area root too in there sticking out. So these grow fast. So I can't wait to get her potted up in a little four inch terracotta. They'll probably all go in a terracotta pot so, um, that I may make and may get some. So I'll probably be doing some more different colors and different styles but yeah so this is a I believe a green emerald philodendron a baby next is this silver streak philodendron it looks like the Brazil but it actually has the silver streak and I think the leaves get a little bit bigger but this is a silver streak um it actually one of them had roots it was one whole vine what I did was broke it in half um, one did have roots but I seen aerial roots so I just went ahead and broke it in half and um, stuck them both in the water so that way um, the aerial roots will, um, on the other one also will root up and then I'll go ahead and pot it up but yeah this one's really really pretty and yeah so it has the silver the, the well, it's like a silver cream color going down the middle. I love that. It's beautiful, and the leaves are way different than the Brazil. It, it's it's easy to get them mistaken, but they're total different plants. It. I think this is called the Silver Street, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I'm really happy about that. And once again, these were all from a plant swap, which means you swap your plants. Um, and in fact, the girl who I swapped plants, we both were pretty happy with what we traded with. So, so that's that. Next. The Monstera Addisoni, I believe. Um, it you know the leaves are crispy, but that's okay. Um, this one, you know, got a little crispy, but I'm not worried about it because it did have some roots. Um, so that's a good thing. It is rooted, and then it has a little new growth coming. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it in water for a little while, and then I still put some cinnamon in it, and um, I'm just gonna leave it in here for a while, and we'll see what happens um it may end up staying in water because i know these can be problems but we'll see so yeah this is a swiss cheese at a sonai uh, the swiss cheese or the monstera at a sonai and i have another little monstera two uh, little monstera solithias or whatever and I know these plants are really weird they like humidity they want their soil dry so I'm pretty sure I got the care down a little bit and I know a lot of people have trouble with this one so it may stay in water like I have a monstera leaf um split leaf a big one well she's a baby but she I have one that's in water and then I have one that's in a pot so so that's that, and she, I love this little root. And if, yeah, so there's some good roots. There was a real long one that I kind of sent off, but um, I know how these roots grow. Their roots are really massive. So yeah, I'm gonna keep her in water just for a little while, and we'll see how she ends up doing. Um, and then I'll put her in some soil, but if she starts acting weird or it takes her a while, I'll probably just keep her in water for a little while. So that's that next this big old girl which she's a little sad but um she's healthy her leaves are, she's healthy and she's got new growth 
Um, they just, you know, chopped her, so she's got to get used to it. I'm sure she'll prep up or whatever, but she's in good shape. Um, there's a new leaf coming, too, and this is called the Gold Dust Agalima. Look at that. Color on the leaves is beautiful. Agalimas are so pretty. I swear, they're just beautiful. So, yeah, this was a good score. Like, I, I don't have this one. I've never even seen this one, actually. And the design is just beautiful. So, this is called the Gold Dust Agalima. It is a pretty big cutting. So, I just have her in a mug for now. <laughs> But uh, there, I uh, they just cut her, so I put some cinnamon, and she'll probably sit in water for a while. We'll see. And hopefully, she cheers up. But I'm sure she'll root. Okay, and so I'm sitting there waiting with her. Um, the girl and then her friend Eric, she's like, oh, he's an aeroid collector. So I scored this and he just gave it to me. He didn't even, I was like, I'll give you some money for it because I didn't have anything. He, of course, has all the good aeroids. So, um, and he had some beautiful plants. But this is the philodendron biopimnia or panda, I guess you could say. And the leaves kind of come out like a. Just a weird shape, kind of like a sword almost. They grow out uh, the, once it's mature. But it's a beauty. And it's a baby. And she's got two new little leaves coming in. Um, actually, one, two, three leaves. And, he, and she's already potted up, which is cool, but... I'll definitely still repot her and put her in some terracotta. That's for the all my plants. So the philodendrons are actually going in decorative pots that I'm getting. So um, there's a few more I have to repot. So I'm going to just wait it out. This one's fully rooted in, uh, in soil. So this will just be a repot. But um, yeah, I was so happy. He was like, you want to hear? And he was, I was like, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Then, when he first got there, there was something he was carrying, and we were all freaking out, and he gave it to me. And I was like, okay, this is crazy, but just a second, let me go ahead, because this one's too big, and it's in my shower, so just a second, and I'll show you. So this is it. <laughs> I have it in my shower in a big old jug, and yes, it is. This massive Monstera variegated Deliciosa that her leaves are so big I can't even, I can't even bear. Um, yeah, so she has a massive trunk. Um, her trunk is even a little variegated. Um, so yeah, she's in water right now. Um, some of her leaves are a little crunchy, but that's okay. Just look at her. And she has a healthy, healthy stock, big old area roots in there that I can't even pull this big old thing out of there because she's massive. But I gave her a good shower. Um, let me try. I don't know if I could turn her around. Look at these leaves. They're just huge. Huge. And she's so heavy that I had to put her in a jar, a glass jar. And she's um, sitting in a clay pot, but I showered her off. I have to find a place where I'm going to sit her at. I have a corner for her in my kitchen where it's really humid in there. And I can't believe I got this. <laughs> this... Look at that. It's so massive and huge. And I don't know if he had it inside, outside, I don't know, but I he got it for free. So 
I didn't, I'm not complaining about anything. <laughs> I was just happy. So, and man, this was a, a win. And this is a huge cutting. <laughs> like, huge. I can't even believe that he gave it to me. And he didn't want nothing. He was like, here, take it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, she's in water. But those leaves are huge. I don't want to turn her around. Once I get her situated, I'll do a video on her. But you get the idea. So that's a Monstera Deliciosa um, variegated. And she's humongous. So, yeah, she definitely will be going in a corner. That's going to be taken up by her. But it's fine. There's plenty of room right there for now. I'll be moving soon. So hope everyone enjoyed my video. Um, thanks for watching and have a blessed week. Bye.